What's up, everybody? It's me, King Alpha. Hope everybody's doing great. So, guys, we got some quality of life changes coming to CB. Um, some pretty huge things in here, and definitely stuff that we're gonna most likely see in two days in terms of the PTR when we do get to test all the units and everything. Um, but again, I just want to say thank you guys all for the support on the last couple of videos and everything. Definitely, guys, keep it up. I do appreciate you guys loads. Um, and definitely don't forget to get your Twitch drops on uh, Twitch, obviously. Um, it's free stuff, so just go and grab your shit. <laughs> Anyways, Hellheim, quality of life changes. Now, this, this there's some pretty big things in here um, that I really like to talk, like, I really want to, you know, talk about and everything. So, basically, they are going to talk about the Battle Pass. So, each season's Battle Pass is a cornerstone um, to each season's theme and all that type of stuff. Um you know, that they've basically received feedback on it. And in terms of reward distribution and the design of weekly challenges, all in all, neither fully meets our expectations. So there's no better time to rework and improve these things. We want Battle Pass to be tre a treasury of rewards rather than a burden to bear. We look forward to climbing a refined Battle Pass on June 9th. So we're going to see the new Battle Pass most likely on the 6th. Uh, they're, they're probably going to talk about it loads during the PTR. I'm going to talk about it loads on the PTR and obviously showcase it off. Um, they are now going to be doing an improved ranked battle system. And everybody knows that the ranked battle system is honestly just, it's just fucking trash, honestly. Um, I grinded for top 25 this season and it was just stupid it was like ridiculous minus 10 here but then plus six there and it's like what the heck's the point and all that type of stuff so now they're basically going to have it where um each tier has a, like they're going to be basically having like a tier list uh, like a tier thing this time so each tier has a specific number of battle stars required to rank up earn enough stars and you will promote to the next rank Stars are earned for winning ranked battles and, and are deducted scaling with your ranked tier on a battle loss. So it is going to be interesting to see how this will work out as well. But basically they said if you lose a battle with zero stars for your current tier, you will not derank to the previous tier unless you are currently on the Imperial or Grand Champion ranks. After achieving the rank of Grand Champion, you will start receiving ranked battle score. Your rank is then based on your score. Which is kind of good because it's just like... Um, I mean, the only thing is, though, is that I hope that people don't just play for stats and everything like that just to try and be MVP. I mean, a lot of that's the only thing, though, a lot of people have been trying to do it where they kind of just play for stats. And at least if they get MVP, even in a loss, you know, it's it's fine. Whereas some people are just trying to win um, and people don't take the risk and all that type of stuff. So it's kind of annoying. Um, Basically, so it says, for example, a player with the rank of New Blood, Ricky, or Contestant would need two stars to be promoted, uh, would receive one star for a win, and no loss penalties for deranking. They did say as well that they're going to do a clear beginner guide, or, to, uh, well, beginner tutorial in terms of all these rewards and stuff, but honestly, uh, you know, I, I'm... I'm way past that, if anybody, I mean, for any new players coming into the game, this is going to be helpful, but... I'm past that. Now, this was one of the biggest things I've seen, and I'm really excited for June 16th, because it says, alongside with the units of Huskarls and Varangian Guards, other Norse units will awaken to join the fight too. Sons of Fenrir, Berserkers, and Shield Maidens. These three units will all receive balance changes. All three units have deep Norse uh, characteristics and bring their unique charm to Conqueror's Blade and its world. However, these characteristics make it difficult for them to perform well in the current meta. We'll be focusing further on their unique features and combat styles. These once glorious Norse warriors will return to pomp and flare one week after the release of Helheim on June 16th. Um, they also said that they will continue to improve the other systems currently in the game and keep an eye on how weapons perform how weapons perform, such as Nodachi, Pike, and Polex, because I know everybody's complaining about that. Um, which, personally, I think it's based off of the runes next season, so we'll see how it is with the runes next season, if the runes are going to be really good, or whether they're going to be just the same scrapped old ones and all that type of stuff. Regardless, the big things here is that Sons of Fenrir, Berserkers, and Shield Maidens are all getting balance changes. Sons of Fenrir, personally, I don't think need a balance change really at all. They're actually a really good unit. It's just the fact that when they are, when they fight versus, you know, a bunch of purple and gold, they're going to die endlessly. But versus blue units, they're actually really, really good. And um, 
Berserkers are definitely glad that they're getting some love. And Shield Mate is I am glad they're getting some love. I wonder how this bat like what are they gonna be the what are the balance changes gonna be for these actual these actual units, but it's gonna be interesting. Um so I definitely think I'm gonna be doing like some some Viking meta type of shit this season, or I'm gonna be like, alright guys, I'm using the Varangian Guard with Hiscarls and Berserkers, or um Shield Maiden, Hiscarls, Berserkers, or Shield Maiden's Varangian Guard and Sons of Fenrir. You know, trying to mix it up in terms of especially since we're gonna be getting a lot more leadership and everything, it's gonna be fun to kind of do some sieges and you know, do like these Viking type of uh plays and stuff. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about the quality of life changes. I'm really excited to see what's for the Battle Pass. I've constantly always said I want more from the Battle Pass. It's felt like the same Battle Pass every season until, I believe, Season 6 when they started coming in with the... Or Season 5 when they started coming in with the antique stuff. But, like, it's just literally been the same after that. It hasn't changed and all that type of stuff. So, really, really excited to see the Battle Pass in two days. Um, but anyways... Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I love you guys. Thank you guys for all the support. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.